good evening. I am so glad that you could join us this evening. I know that we are a little late to get on the screen and I do have an explanation for that, but I'm gonna get to that in just one second. I am, we could not be more excited that you're here. We cannot wait to celebrate this incredible book that you are all here to also celebrate. Um, I'm sure you've already picked up your copies yesterday on its book birthday. Uh, my name is Stephanie and I am with The Novel Neighbor. And as you can see on your screen, two other authors this evening. We have the incredible Lauren Tarshis and Deborah Hopkinson, whose new book is out. Um, and we have an incredible conversation planned for you. Unfortunately, the reason we were late is because we are having technical difficulties. Um, who hasn't experienced that in the past year? Am I right? We all know what it's like to have those technical difficulties that you don't plan for. So we're going to do a really quick part where Lauren is going to tell you all about why she loves this book so much and why she loves Deborah so much and how incredible this book is. And then we are going to get in contact with you because we're going to work on rescheduling it at a time where you'll be able to hear Deborah um, and really get to hear her talk about her book. Because I know she has an amazing conversation plan about all of the research that went into this. And we want to make sure that you get that. So Lauren, do you want to talk about why you and I are such fans of this book? Well, I know. Well, I'm such a fan of Deborah's, and I'm sort of glad that you can't talk that much because Deborah's a <laughs> modest person, and she would not want. She would be under normal circumstances, not. She would be totally embarrassed and try to like muzzle me as I was gushing over her because she, Deborah, and I have known each other for a very long time, ever since um, really you working. know some of our first books, and Deborah has been is. I'm such a fan of all of Deborah's work, whether it's her voices of, from the Titanic or her book on, she's just done so many incredible nonfiction books. And she's also written for a lot of the magazines at Scholastic that I oversee. So when I was invited to, to help celebrate Deborah's book birthday on this book, The Deadliest, I was so thrilled and I devoured this book. It is so fascinating. I'm just going to do a quick book talk for you and tell you why you must, why you're going to love this book and why, what I'm going to be delving into with Deborah because I have a million prepared. So you know that this is about these plagues and these diseases that have been, that have been vexing us humans for, for centuries and centuries well before our pandemic today. And Deborah did her typical research journey to take us back in time, back into the 1300s to explore the plague, otherwise known as the Black Death. I learned so much. And she it's its this incredible book because it's not only a nonfiction book that will tell you everything about the plague and the influenza epidemic of 1918 and more modern epidemics like smallpox and all sorts of, it's like a nightmare takeout menu of deadly diseases. But Deborah writes it in this way that you're also sort of part of the journey of understanding these diseases and how we're still learning about the Black Death, which happened so many years ago. We're still learning about that today. So Deborah interviews scientists. She takes you back in time to explore graveyards and ports where these ships filled with rats and grain piles filled with rats covered with fleas. It's so cool. So I, I've always wanted to write about the Black Death, and I was so happy Deborah did it first because now I can rely on Deborah's book as a huge research boost. So thank you, Deborah. Um, so I think that Stephanie, we all feel that it would be great for us to postpone this till we can get the technology set. Deborah has so much to share about. I'm just I am filled with um, wonder about her process. There is no nonfiction writer that I love more. Um, and she is gonna, I, I can't even, I can't even tell you what she's going to reveal. Um, so I hope you'll join us when we postpone, right, Stephanie? Yes, and I just want to give a shout out to Simon. I'm seeing you on here. We're also looking forward to talking about the deadliest disease book. I am in Malay, and so we will make sure that you have everything you need to um, be able to join our event. I also, if you haven't purchased your book yet, you can purchase both. Um, Lauren, you have a new book about I Survived Galveston. Um, I should say the Galveston hurricane. <laughs> Survived Galveston, the city. Um, I Survived Galveston. We have your deadliest disease book, which again, Lauren said, we're going to talk about to It's going to be an amazing presentation. Um, and also really, really cool. We have signed book plates. 
So the book plates are basically like stickers um, that you can peel off the back and you can choose if you want to put it in your book or if you want to keep it somewhere else. Um, both of our authors this evening were amazing and sent us a bunch of these. So whenever you purchase one of these books, we will make sure one of these is tucked inside of it. So go ahead because um, we can happily ship you or get you your book um, before our event and you can even read it then before it and ask uh, Deborah some even better questions than I'm sure you were planning on asking in the first place. So we'll make sure you have everything you need. Deborah, I'm glad we at least got you on screen. I'm glad we were able to see your face. Lauren, thank you so much for giving us a book talk. And we'll talk to everyone um, very, very soon and make sure that we get a new date on the books. So we'll keep you posted. Preview. It's just a little, right? It's just yeah. a little teaser. So. A little teaser trailer. Treat this like a teaser trailer for a movie. And we'll make sure that we uh, get you for the full thing. Um, all right. Thanks, everyone. Bye, everyone. <laughs>